I don't feel like anybody should be shy to call their, themselves a shoemaker. I, I am a, a proud one. I am a shoemaker. My husband is. It interests me more that many men are found in this field and then you just, found, you just find like two or three women in this kind of field. That is, in fact, that's one of my motivations that, okay, what a man can do, I can do it better even more than a man would do it. And as a matter of fact, it got more interesting for me when I met my husband in this same, I and my husband, we run the same business. In fact, it was the first day we met, my husband asked me, do I plan on getting married in the next two years or next year, you know? That was the first day. That was, that was when he asked me that, you, are you planning on getting married anytime soon? Because when I saw her, like, I see this fine girl. She was making back and very serious. She didn't know, she didn't say, first day I passed, I saw her. But she didn't know, she didn't, she didn't say that one. So I told one guy, like, please, when this girl comes to this place again, message me. <laughs> so she just messaged me, yeah. she's guy. here, she's here, she's here. I took bike, there was no car there, I just took bike. So I, I, said, I, I said hi, so I said, let me know the cost stories. Are you, get, are you ready to get married? She's like, ah, ah. So like, no, no, when we're talking, we're talking, like, so after, the first day, the first day like after two hours of talking, like, are you ready to get married? She's like, ah, she was shocked. Married, married, how? I said, no, I want you to know the level I'll put you. If he's friend, if he's, and she's like, she didn't say yes, she didn't say no. Certainly, it is not every time one finds a couple in the same line of business striving for a common goal and working assiduously to complement each other. Mufe Etienabe is a vibrant lady, wife, mother and entrepreneur who is doing well in a field dominated by men. The young lady learned the heart of shoemaking and met her husband in the leather market. Her husband had been in the shoemaking business long before her. Both of them have built an empire in that field and are hoping that they are able to pass this trade on to their children. You'll be finding out more about this couple in this interview with Legit.ng. I'm Timito Peolaia. My name is Etenabe Mufeolua. Um, I am married. I'm a wife. I'm a mom. I studied microbiology in Olabisi and Obanja University. I, I'm a, I, I like to describe myself as a serial entrepreneur. I like business. Business is what I want to do. For someone that studied um, microbiology, mm -hmm. you really love money. Let's ah, put it that <laughs> Money. Yes, money. I love money. Because <laughs> how, how were you able to, to transist from um, being a scientist, a science Shoe student or business? Yeah. Let me tell you. I was home, school was done and all that. And I just, I wanted to do business, okay? I've done other businesses before this one, but okay, none of them has, like not like big term businesses. This yeah, is like the first business to, to fly. Yes. Okay, the first business I ever did, I did clothing. I did ready to wear, but you know, it wasn't no 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 no. I didn't I don't know how to sew. Yes, I have tailors that would sew and all of that. But that didn't last for a long time. This is like my major business that 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 lasted. This is like the business that have you been into this now? Five years now. Five years now. And you design, you, you create the styles yourself. We create styles, we pick out the leathers, you know, the leathers are imported into Nigeria, then we make our designs from them. How do you feel in a market that is dominated by men? To be a woman in a market as you see, I don't like to call, I don't like to call myself an alpha woman. I just like the fact that, in fact, it interests me more that many men are found in this field, and then you just found you just find like two or three women in this kind of field. That is, in fact, that's one of my motivations. That okay, what a man can do, woman. I can do it better even more than a man would do it, you know. And as a matter of fact, it got more interesting for me when I met my husband in this same, I and my husband, we run the same business. We do the how, how same thing. How did you meet, tell us, how did you meet, how did you meet your husband? We met in a leather market. Yes, we met in a leather market. I, I went to buy, you know, I used to make shoes myself. I know how to make shoes, many shoes. I know how to make slippers, I know how to make bags. I know how to make anything, you know. So I was making shoes that day when I met him. He came in to buy leather, as usual. And then, then he was already made than I am in the business. 
is well known. He had gone far. Yes, he had gone a lot far than I am. I just started there when I met him. So he saw me <laughs> when I was buying, when I was making stuff, and then we just kicked it off from there. Started talking before you know something led to something. something, something. Was... Meeting my wife is a, is a blessing. When I met her, I saw her because like, I like, I'm just gonna that I like someone that is out working. So when I saw her, like, I see this fine girl. She was making back and very serious. She didn't know, she didn't say, the first day I passed, I saw her. But she didn't know, she didn't, know. She didn't say that word. So I told one guy, like, please, when this girl comes to this place again, message me. <laughs> so she doesn't message me now. She's guy. here, she's here, she's here. I, I took back. There was no car there, I just took back. So I, I said, I said, hi. So I said, let me know those cost stories. Are you, get, are you ready to get married? She's like, ah, ah. She's like, no, no, when we're talking, we're talking. Like, so after the first, day, the first day, like after two hours of talking, like, are you ready to get married? She's like, ah, she was shocked. Married, married, how? I said, no, I want you to know the level I'll put you. If it's friend, if it's... And she's like, Tch. she didn't say yes, she didn't say no. When she had said no, maybe we won't be together. Mm. But she's like, she didn't say anything, she just said, Tch. let's get to know ourselves now. And we're flowing, we're flowing, we're flowing. And then she just started. Then, that was like my own five years. Already, my five years. So I've gone through 50 a year. I've sold the poly bag. Wow. Black poly bag. Like, wow. A, a black black poly bag. I shoes wearing shoes wearing. I think we're just two. Before before social media, we're just two. And most of them now, no, they, they are dead. Your friends feel about you being a shoemaker in Fox. I'll tell you a story, right? When I met my husband, the shoemaker thing. Okay, so we, we were going to get married. He had proposed then. I took him home. <laughs> Like every normal girl would think their husband, their fiance home to their parents and all that. He had met my mom and they were cool. In fact, my mom was not cool with the fact that when, when she had shoemaker, she was like, hey, shoe, can I speak Yoruba? Yeah. Shoemaker, lo fe fe, you know all those things. And then I, I, I tried to explain to her that, see, it's not the shoemaker you see on the road. It's not that one. Let me, let me, so it's a brand. You know, I tried to explain, I tried to... Ah, man, the day he came to the house to see my mom, my dad was not around then, he traveled. So she invited the reverend of our church. Like that's like the, uh, that's like another person that is in a high place that could stand in for my dad, right? And then that man came, he met my husband and then he asked my husband that, what do you do? My husband said he owns a shoe brand. The man asked, after, the, after he said, I own a shoe brand, the man said, and, I felt bad because he said, and, what do you do? I said, I have a shoe brand. He just said, and, like, what are you saying, and. I said, and, uh, that's a shoe brand now. He said, so do you think that one now, can you get it? I said, and today we're not where, we know what we've done. Like, we've done a lot of things. My wife even told them that I had a car. <laughs> and I didn't have a car. And I have podcasts. It's just so sad that, uh, especially the older generations, they don't know that, these fields are, are now polished. They are not like the way people see it. It's not, it's not the shoemaker you see on the road eating table and all. It's better now. There are ways to... Refine. Yes, it's, it's, it's refined now. Now we import leathers, we import a lot of things that we use for... The, we ship abroad. In fact, I would say 60% of our sales come from abroad, even than Nigeria. So it's not, it's not as... It's, it's not bad. I don't want to use it, it's not as bad. It is not bad at all. It's a noble, it's a beautiful, it's so beautiful. And I don't feel like anybody should be shy to call their, themselves I, I am a, a proud one. I am a shoemaker. My husband is. How did you come about this business of yours? Hmm. Tell us the shoe yeah. business of yours. I was like, I was nine, nine, ten years old. So we have this bank on in Soleri. So there's this guy, watch this guy. First year, I just saw this guy, the shoemaker. He bought the house beside us. I was like, wow, this shoemaker bought the house. Next thing, he bought his cars. I was like, mom, I think I want to be like this guy. I like this guy. That was the, that was the attraction. As a child. As a child. So my mom just said, okay, go and sit down. After school, sit down with him. So I sat down with that guy. So up to, let me say, I was alone. I sat down with the guy. And the guy mentored me. Up now, today, this guy has a, like a four-story building, um, Lucky Day. But online, you don't, you don't know him, but just pushed me. So took, took me to markets. So I started um, making sales very, very early. So there was no capital. I'll just take pictures, I, I post. Then we had no Instagram, no Facebook. 
I use um, I use um, OLX. I use uh, I use um, all these old social media, all this old stuff. So that was how everything just went. Then um, I got admission in the University of Lagos. Yeah, um, it was actually a medical. I went in medicine. I was supposed to go to medicine, but I knew I was a business person. So I didn't know I was making a mistake. I said, "What course am I going to read? That I won't read too much." They said, "Go to education." Now that I said that, yeah, please, I went to education. I didn't. I went. I entered trouble. With a lot of courses, and that was out my business. So in, from school, year one, everybody knew that I'm a business person. So you started making shoes even in year one. In year one, they call me shoemaker. Like I said, shoemaker. And then they're using to like, like just, they're making just of it like shoemaker. In year one, year two, year three, and I've been all my four years in my faculty in the middle of the year, in the middle of the year, I've always been. So I learned from an Igbo man. I learned this trade for a year and six months on how to make shoes and bars and everything. Now we even train, but I met. How did I even meet this man? It was, it's, it's a very complicated story. I met this lady, she said she makes bags, right? She makes handbags. That was the first thing I learned how to make bags. So when I was learning how to make bags, I started to see that, okay, I can actually use this leather that I'm using to make bags to make footwear, right? I can use this, le um, this, this leather that I'm using to make bags to make sandals and all that. And I started to try it out, but I didn't get it professionally. So I went to, this lady now told me that there's a factory where I can learn from, where they do it in large scale. So I went there and I started to learn. So instead of paying the man very big amount of money, although I paid a sum of money, but instead I just chose to work for him, work with him, and then that cut down the cost. So I didn't start the business with a lot of capital. It was just that I saw a future in it. I, I saw that when you own a handmade slippers, buying one handmade slippers is better, far better than buying two foreign made slippers. Don't let me use the word China made slippers because one handmade slippers is unique, it's quality and would last you longer time than that other slippers.